Crackdown and Chop, Seattle Police Chief says enough is enough after a teen is fatally shot in so-called autonomous zone. For weeks, the liberal mayor of Seattle has vowed to take a hands-off approach to the so-called autonomous zone set up by BLM protesters in several downtown blocks of the city. But police were forced to respond earlier this week when violence erupted in the area known as Chop, formerly Chaz. Early Monday morning, there were reports of shots fired into a Jeep. Authorities arrived on the scene to find a vehicle riddled with bullet holes. The Seattle PD reported that there were two injured individuals, presumably the occupants of the Jeep. They were transported by private vehicle from the CHOP area. One of the victims was a 16-year-old male who was pronounced dead soon after arriving at the hospital. The other victim, a 14-year-old, remains in critical condition. There are no suspects in custody, but the investigation remains active and ongoing. Following the incident, Seattle Police Chief Carmen Best said that enough is enough. It's very unfortunate that we have yet another murder in this area identified as CHOP. Two African-American men dead at the place where they claim to be working for Black Lives Matter. But they're gone. They're dead now, Best said at a Monday press conference on the fatal shooting. And we've had multiple other incidents, assaults, rape, robbery, and shootings, she continued. And so you know, this is something that's going to need to change. We're asking that people remove themselves from this area for the safety of the people. While the police chief said she supports peaceful protests, she echoed the sentiment of many Americans saying, you can't hostily take over a neighborhood and cause the crime levels to go up like this. The fatal shooting on Monday marked the fourth shooting in or near the CHOP zone within the last two weeks. No word on how the mayor plans to respond.